Chicos y Chicas, I am Ricardo Laguna, and what is going on with the real estate market as right now, there's a couple proposals being offered for the real estate market. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time to watch this YouTube video and it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button because by you guys hitting that like button it's gonna help this video to get out there so that more people can learn from it. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe as I aim to have new episodes every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And if we haven't connected, let's connect with my social media. Now that we got that out of the way, what is going on with the real estate market as right now there's a couple proposals that is going to be offered for the real estate market. And here are my thoughts about all these proposals. And here are some of the reasons why I think some of the home prices are going up. Property developers are on a mission to build as many homes as they can right now. We're putting the band back together. Forget it. Don't wait. We're on a mission. Because right now we have a huge demand for homes for sale. But the caviar that home developers are having, lumber prices are skyrocketing. <laughs> and how can they afford drywall, copper, PVC pipes, and many other materials needed to build a home? Because right now those prices are super expensive. And right now we have a couple things that we have over a month and a half on wait time, such as appliances, garage doors, windows, and many other materials that you need to build homes. Making the house prices go abnormally high and passing all those costs to you guys, the consumers. On another note, if people can't afford it, people are gonna stop buying. It's called, don't buy stuff you cannot afford. <laughs> will that mean that builders will stop building properties? Because if the profits to build a new home are too slim, with the new prices with material needed to build new homes, will that cause builders to pump the brakes on building any new properties? Could this be the reason for the next housing crisis? Well, mortgage forbearance are putting homeowners on hold to put their houses for sale because they can pause their payments and have no fees, giving them what I would like to think some great news. If homeowners want to sell down the road, things are looking amazing. But wait, Ricardo, what do you mean by that? Because every other month, most areas, their homeowners are seeing their home prices appreciate and going up allowing them to potentially have more equity into their home as the market continues going up and up and up, which that would equal more money into their pockets. Now, if everything continues going the way I just said it, the next problem is going to be where are they going to move once they sell their property? That will mean that they will have to purchase the next property on a top dollar purchase which in my eyes, I don't know if that's gonna be a smart decision. On the bright side, our president, Joe Biden, has some new plans to add more real estate and create more affordable housing to hopefully help with this housing shortage that we have right now, as well as excluding new zoning guidelines. Like some cities will receive some tax credits for building properties, allowing minimal lot sizes, relaxing on mandatory parking requirements, and provision of multifamily housing. When having those guidelines approved, it will make it possible to build stuff that was off limits. Now, 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 remember, this is just a proposal as of now. And if this gets approved, this will mean parking guidelines will change, smaller homes can get built within the same size of parcel land, helping prices stay down on those new properties, and helping with more properties entering the market. Because as of now, we're having a shortness of housing inventory. Now, do you think this proposal will help the housing shortness? Because what I am seeing and reading a lot of the people from higher markets, they have sold their home and their money goes a lot longer if they go to a market that is a lot cheaper. 
So people like New York, California, Chicago, and many other cities in that bracket are causing other cities to home prices skyrocket. For example, Las Vegas, Boise, Austin, Texas, and many other cities that were or are in that bracket. So to close this out, it will mean the world if you guys hit that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please share this video as well. And if you guys have any questions, this is my email. And here are what things are looking like. Building material most likely will stay in a high price for the next year to year and a half. We still have a housing shortness. The feds are saying that interest rates are gonna stay down until 2023. Can this last forever? Well, nothing lasts forever. When do you guys think things are gonna go back as we were a couple years ago?